In most of my videos, I show you how to start from scratch and build something really cool inside of WordPress. But in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. So the other day, one of my subscribers sent me an email kind of got, oh, frustrated about how her website was going. She wasn't quite figuring out how all the pieces work together. And I wanted to help her out. And, and I thought it'd be a really cool case study to be able to take a website that might be having some structural like design issues and kind of work them out and walk through my thinking process along the way. So in this video, I want to walk through Farmhouse Made Simple, a new blog, a new mom blog coming up and help kind of walk through some of the things I see on the video. And hopefully by the end of it, we'll make it look like this. All right, and this is the finished result where we have a much clearer home page where the content is dynamic. It links directly to her store, her main call to action. Her sidebar is clear and easy to understand. They can quickly get to the different categories of her blog, but it doesn't have too many buttons, too much overwhelming navigation at the top to prevent people from really finding the content that they want, especially as a new blog. You want to keep things simple and easy to navigate in the beginning. And as your content library grows, you'll definitely be able to expand what is in your menu. Okay, you excited? Let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are first, I just want to browse through this website here. This is their home page. And uh, so I see what she's going after here, some being able to focus some content here. Uh, there might be some padding things we can work with, some design overall. I, I'm As I walk through, I don't see a clear path of where we should be going with this one. We've got a lot of Hello Worlds up here. So we've got some stuff we can work through on this page here. And then it looks like it goes into even more. So there's a lot going on on this homepage. All right, no worries. Now, if we come over here to recipes, we'll see she has a bunch of different recipes ready to go. If I click on one of them, it's going to pull up this DIY crafts page, which looks like... I think I see what's going on here. This is, I think she wants to make a category of an archive page, but it's, she's just making it a manual page. So we'll walk through some of that as we go. Uh, printables, let's see what's going on here. And we looks like it's the exact, okay, it's a different page, but it has um, some links here to things that I don't think are working. Okay, it's just a, a simple page, no worries at all. Uh, maybe this would be a great place to put like a sign up or like a coming soon, the printables are coming, if she wants to have uh, awareness of that. Spinning a yarn. Let's see what this page is about. Okay, we're back on the DIY crafts again. Okay, so I, I clearly see that she wants to create the structure of how she wants her site to be laid out. But I, I think the actual mechanics of how to create an archive page is something that we can walk through on this case study here. And then also the about page here, which let's take a look. And this looks very good. I can tell she put a lot of work into it. Really cool looking images with the box shadow. All right, so this one is I don't see any need to spend any time on this. Oh, that is so cute. Love it. All right, great. So we've got uh, we got our work cut out for us today. What I want to do first is just work on this global like awareness and understanding of how um, to structure your, your blog uh, with WordPress. So the main thing to be aware of is up at the top, that's where you want your menu to be, where the most navigation goes to. In general, especially for a blog where she wants to be creating content over time repeatedly, I would recommend setting these up as categories. Uh, which that you know la you look at this you see re recipes diy crafts and printables that is clearly uh showing the categories of content on our website so let's go ahead and see if she has that in the back end of her of her website here let's see if she has these categories set up so as i come over here and i look at my posts and my categories let's see what we have in terms of categories okay so she has a lot of categories very cool all right so, and then we have this DIY crafts slug here. Cool. So let's go ahead and see what she currently has working on her menu, appearance, menus. And let's see what she's actually putting in here. Okay. So underneath recipes, she has this recipe. Is this a page? Okay, so as I look at this menu, and I, I kind of see that she's planning ahead, right? She has a lot of menu pieces, pieces, you know, content pieces that she is probably planning on building in the future. As we come over and look at her blog post, what I want to make sure is we're not like building too much for where we're at, where we are right now. And if I look at the blog post, I see that there's a couple of posts that are, there's one post that's published, there's a couple of drafts, and there's a hello world. So like, as I'm looking through this, you, you just want to be the right size, like you want to be where you are, you don't want to, uh, to build out this huge, like this looks like a massive website right now, but she's just getting started. So I would think this is gonna be a crawl, walk, run scenario, where what I would want to do if I were, what we're going to do, is um, we're gonna create 
these as simple top line um, top line category pages because the last thing you want to do is have all these different places but they only go to one or two blog posts I'm gonna have a recipes section a DIY craft section and a printable section and these are gonna be categories of your WordPress website that'll take them to an archive page okay let me show you how to do that and so let's come back to our menus I'm also in case she doesn't like what I do I've already backed up the website just as like a, a, a disclaimer I backed up the website and I will um, allow her to restore it if she doesn't like it so let's create a new menu by coming over here to appearance menus edit menu and we'll create a new one just in case she wants to go back to the uh, her structure for any reason and we'll call this clean main menu all right and we'll create this menu now she has some plug in here for elements kit mega menu i've not personally used that i'm not going to worry about it we're just going to kind of skip over that for now so as i look at her website right now it's farmhouse which where does farmhouse actually take you i think that's just the home page so i'm going to remove that because that's uh people are used to clicking on the top line there so instead we're going to go to recipes diy crafts and printables so we want to find categories let's view our categories find our recipes which it looks like we actually do not have a category for recipes yet and that might be simply because she hasn't created the content yet but that's okay let's go ahead and um, create a new post and we're just going to call this first recipe and what you want to do here if you want to start adding in this dynamic content to kind of show your archive of all your work you want to come over to the categories area of your sidebar and we're just going to type in recipe let's capitalize the recipes and we'll hit add new category that's going to create it and if you want this to be subcategories like if, for example she has um air fryer instant slow pot cookers baker like these are subcategories you can get there eventually as a beginning blogger i want you to keep things simple and and not try to um put up you know pretend like you have a bigger website than you do it's not a bad thing like you're getting started so simply have a recipes area and then as time goes on you can sub categorize them and, and you know build out a more dynamic website but we're just not there yet so i'm going to publish this post simply as so we have something to show and we'll come back to our menus area and let me just save this menu real quick now i should be able to find underneath my categories recipes and I'll add that to my menu. All right. Now, as I save this, uh, let me add this as my primary. We'll do this in just a minute. I'll, 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 let's add a, a few of these, and then we can show how we're, we're coming across. So the next one is DIY crafts. In the same way, let's go ahead and um, make a new post. Coming back to our dashboard. Make a new post. So I don't think we have DIY crafts either. So I'll we'll call this first craft post. And we have DIY crafts here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, select that one, publish the post. Again, this content should be updated. You can delete this post as you go and make your own post. I simply wanna have something to show so we don't have all these hello worlds bumping around in what we're doing here. All right, so once again, I'm gonna save this menu and add DIY crafts to my menu. And I hopefully this is gonna look much cleaner as we go through. So add DIY crafts and lastly printables here printables is going to be interesting uh, it looks like she has a store on her website so I wonder if she's trying to sell her printables directly from her website if I come back over let's take a look to see if WooCommerce is indeed on here which it is so I'm going to go and find the WooCommerce store and under printables I'm going to send them there I assume that's what she's trying to accomplish so let's go ahead and do that together we'll come back to our menu and instead of let's see here let's go ahead and find our pages and we're going to look for our shop page which is right here i'm going to add the shop page to the main menu and we're going to call this also printables because shop sounds a bit too generic if she's planning on selling printables let's go ahead and call it what it is so right now this is going to kind of just like a, a general page I definitely think if she's going for the WooCommerce route, uh, just go ahead and send them to the store and let them browse from there. And then lastly is spinning yarn, which I don't know what this one is. Um, I'll leave this one out until I know what the, the goal is, but then I will definitely add the about page here. And so let's go to our pages and about. 
And here we go. About looks like spinning art is just a page, but I'm let's add it in since I was there, and I'm sure she she has a plan with that page. But if that is also a category, I would definitely recommend creating them as categories. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to save this as our primary menu. And this is just replacing the menu we currently have with this new one. And we'll see how that looks on the front end. All right, so the update should be done now. I'm going to come back to the home page. And now I have a, oh, nope, still there. Let's clear my cache. And it looks like this menu is being controlled by something other than the standard WordPress. So as we hover over edit with Elementor, I can see here she has some custom header plugin, which is okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can control which menu is shown here. All right, so now I can see this menu is here and I should be able to select, there we go, clean main menu. That's the one I just created. And so now we have this replaced. I'll hit update and then let's go and view our page here which in reality we want to view the the main page all right so now we have our bit cleaned up menu it is a bit sparse i would probably move this over to the side since we have enough space for that now um, but let's go ahead and leave it as it is and let's take a look now at recipes so now the recipes area is going to actually show an archive of the recipes that were created um, so this is the first recipe we made and this will allow you to easily create more content and simply when you're creating the new post simply call it a craft and then it'll show up underneath the craft area and you can see here we do have the dollar tree uh, redo buffalo this guy which is really nice i think that's beautiful it's got a cool plug in here very cool so we've got our our menus kind of cleaned out a little bit you can also if you want to get fancy you can customize how the design of this looks but for now i think simply getting content created and having a very simple structure you can follow like categories uh, is a solid option now underneath the printables let's just make sure that her store is showing up okay so she has her shop but she does not have any products created uh, so let's just create a very simple product so she has something to show uh, in the shop here or we could even just say the shop is coming, uh, coming soon. We'll call this first printable. And I will add an image here. Let's just see what she has. I think that is a really cool image. So I'm gonna add it here and we'll publish this product. It doesn't have a price or anything yet. So I probably should at least make it a, um, a $1 product downloadable update. Alrighty, so now if I go back and I view my site, here we are, and if I go into the printable store, now I can see uh, all the print, all the products you'll be able to make. They can start showing up here in the store and um, you can sell them as you go. The spin a yarn, I'm gonna skip over that because I really don't know what, oh, look at that, okay, spin a yarn. So again, a lot of um, you know pre-made content, that's okay. I would say don't go too crazy with the design in the, in the beginning. You know, like I'm not a huge fan of how simple a classic blog roll can look, but the goal here is just to get moving and to create some content. So at least, at least this way we have a good structure here. Now let's tackle this home page. So what I, I think I see her trying to do is have a little bit of an introduction to what she does. And then she wants to have a blog role to kind of show her latest posts on the front page. Um, so we're going to help her with that by simply cleaning up some of this. Um, and then we'll just have one. We'll have a call to action. Oof, there's a lot of content here. So let's go ahead and edit, edit with Elementor and let's start removing some of the content that I don't think is serving her well. And we'll create a simple blog listing and probably a call to action for her to do something, whether it's to sign up for an email list or something else here. So as I take a look, looks like she's manually built out a sidebar. And because she has this manually built out sidebar, what I believe she wants to do here is actually have the sidebar in the design. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come back over to, I might be able to do this on the sidebar here. It looks like not with her setup. Let's go back into the dashboard for this page and let's set this up with the sidebar so that she doesn't have to manually create sidebars here. So to do that, I'm gonna come down to the Astro settings and I'll use the right sidebar and under the content layout, let's just do a full width and contained style and we'll hit update. And she has a transparent header when there isn't really a transparent header. It's always fun doing this. It's kind of like being a detective and, and seeing what, what was the motive? What was the 
modus operandi for a certain thing on a website. It's really fun. All right, so now we'll have a bit of cleanup work to do. Let me move myself up to the top. All right, so now we have the sidebar here, but we have this like secondary sidebar, and this is just gonna be too much work for her to maintain over time. So what I wanna do is let's start by creating a full width section up here, and this will be kind of her welcome area. So to make it a welcome area, let's, I know she wanted to have this here. She wanted to have her text underneath that, and she probably wants to have some social sharing here. All that makes good sense. But then this welcome area, and all of that, that should really belong in the sidebar itself. Okay, so we'll skip over that because I'll probably reference this text a little bit later on. But let's take a look at these blog roles here. So this was a man, looks like this was a manually created blog image. So I think we can help her here. I'm going to come over here to search for blog, see what she has options here. So she has a few different elementary toolkits. I'm going to pull this post grid and let's have the post grid in another section right below here. And this will pull up her content. And this is already looking way, way better. Let's just make a few sections here. So underneath style, this is a, definitely a different one. Definitely a different plugin. Uh, post per page. Hmm. I would like to be able to customize the columns. So one thing I definitely see here is this text is just too big. So I'm going to come over to the typography settings. And let's bring that bring that text down to maybe maybe an 18, maybe a 20. I think that'll probably work pretty well. Let's just check it on different device sizes. That'll work well. All right. And then with all plugins, you can play around to see how they are querying and what they do. If she wants to have four, that's totally fine. Um, I think this will be probably as much as I'd want to do. And then here you can search for specific categories. So in this case, this is finding the last four posts, no matter what. If you want to show only the crafts, you can select the crafts and it'll filter down to only those two. So let's just make this very simple. Again, because she doesn't have that much content created yet, I don't want to pretend like we're too far than where, where we actually are. So let's go ahead and just say, check out my latest posts. And this way, all her content will be here clean, easy, and we can start getting rid of some of this additional content because the beautiful thing about this is you drag this menu element, you drag this blog post role here and it's dynamic. So when you add new posts, you don't need to come and update your homepage. It's all going to be done automatically for you, which I think is what she was trying to accomplish. Let's just remove some of this. And again, if she wants to have featured content, I would say once you have the the content to feature and once the pay, the posts are there then you can uh, have another one of these where maybe you only show two or three and you say this is my best post on this specific category and you can do that as well but for now let's go ahead and just keep things clean except are these actually ads so it looks like there's an image she's trying to kind of create that advertising in her sidebar which is what i think what the goal was because she has that two column layout so these images i'm just going to kind of take a mental note of these images and when we build her a quick little sidebar, we'll come back and make sure we put some images in there. Okay, and the rest of this is just kind of a lot of, she, she, okay, I get it. She thought she had to make all our posts directly here. Uh, so we're gonna help her out a little bit. And let's just kind of clean this up. Okay, now this is her sidebar. So what I wanna do here is just add a call to action. I do think that would be a good use of space down below. And here we'll just say, join, you know, get my free thing. Or let's say, okay, so just add a little bit of text in there for her. And let's see if she has anything that resembles a printable. Maybe this will be at least a clean look. And then on the button, let's add it. Let's send her to the store. So at least uh, this way, if she wanted to, she could send people over to her shop from her homepage and um, let them know there are some free content available for them if they want to, you know, sign up. All right, so we're making some progress already. Let's go ahead and check this page out on the front end. I think already this is cleaner. We need to update the sidebar content, but we have a call to action and this is going to go away. I simply want to make sure that her about me area is set up. So now we're gonna come over to the widgets section. This is the area that you can update your sidebar content and all of that jazz. So as I see her main sidebar, what was she trying to accomplish? She was trying to put her uh, about me first. So let's go ahead and clear some of this up. 
recent comments. We don't really want to see that on a sidebar. She had a few advertisements, which are simply going to be images and the categories. Let's go ahead and leave that there. Remove the meta and then about. I always have to search for this one. So let's go ahead and um, spruce this up by putting in an image of her as a top one. We'll put an image on the main sidebar and let's make this the image of her right here. And let's save that and we'll put a little bit of text below it. Where is our text at? Add that text in as well. And she has welcome to the farmhouse. And then she has kind of a link to her about me page. It sounds like, so we're going to go ahead and say, let's just take this as a link, bold it and go to about. That should link to the about me page. Great. All right. Now, just to clean things up, let's drag this to the top. Let's take the text beneath that. And then she also had her search bar down below. And then we'll just leave the recent posts and the categories. And that should be a pretty clean sidebar. So let's check that out. And now here we go. We're rocking and rolling. Welcome to the farmhouse. I'll put the coffee on. Learn more about me here. The search, her blog posts, and the categories down below. So if she clicks on... If any visitor clicks on Dollar Tree, that's going to take them to the Dollar Tree category, um, which as I'm seeing this, I probably, I don't know if Dollar Tree is something she's planning on having a bunch of blog posts about, but if you only have a blog post, I wouldn't make a, a single blog post on a topic or on a thing. I wouldn't make that a category. I would simply have that be the blog post, but the category should probably be crafts and printables at that higher level. So I'm not going to delete that because maybe that was intentional. Maybe she's planning on doing a lot with that one with Dollar Trees. Uh, but that's what that would be my recommendation. Now that we have this kind of worked out nicely, let's go ahead and remove this area here. Go into Elementor and then let's remove this section. Just like that. Hit update. Obviously, there's more styling we could do, but I think already uh, this website is going to be easier to navigate. Then when we first got there, there's going to be some structure to it. When they go into a post, they'll be able to have a bit of continuity. The sidebar will still be there. You know, as I see this, I see that she's also using the boxed layout. Uh, that could be intentional, could just be not, not, not aware of how to kind of set that up. Let's go ahead and make the entire website boxed since that's, that's what she's doing, at least here. So it looks like it's set up here. I want to make sure at least the home page feels the same way. So we'll come in to edit this page and set this up as a box layout. Just like that. We'll update it. And now the, the style is the same, at least. If she doesn't like this, she can easily go back in and swap it back to whatever layout she wants. And then here's our call to action at the bottom of the page, which can take them to their, their shop, which is functional as a WooCommerce store. Okay. So that is kind of the before and after. This was a quick about 25 minutes or so I spent working through understanding the website. If you would like, if you're struggling to get your stuff up and running and you're interested to have me kind of break down what I see on your website and make some changes, everything I do is reversible. There's, a, you know, it's back, backed up and all that. So if you want some free help, if you want a chance to be able to have me give a bit of a makeover, if you will, to your website, feel free to head on down to the link in the description below to sign up for a chance. I don't, I don't have all the time in the world, but uh, if I have a few minutes to help somebody out, I'd love to do so. And that is about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Did you learn anything? Um, do you hate the design that I put in there? Uh, I'm really curious about your feedback, but already this website looks way more professional, way more clear and clean. When they go into the printables area, they can see their store. When they go to the crafts, they can see the craft content. I think it's an improvement. I think it's easier to understand. And I hope you learned a little bit about the inner workings of a WordPress website through this video. Again, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.